And welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with another episode of StarCraft 2 Fun or Not. This map is Fringe by Nashadun. Nashadun? That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, this is actually a hero slash RPG map. As you can see, I was one of the first ones to pick my hero. I actually believe I was first. I picked the ghost by the name of John Smith. Probably not his real name. In fact, if you uh, look at that... John Smith, if that is his real name, it's probably not. Um, he actually turned out to be, in my opinion, the best character in the game. Um, him and the Reaper, the only ones with a full set of five abilities, it looks like. Um, but yeah, uh, right off the bat, he gets the sniper. Uh, he can. He has 250 energy, so he can get 10 sniper rounds off so fast, which means I get to rack up a lot of kills early on, and then I start leveling up, get more powerful spells, and I just keep on leveling up faster than everybody else. Um, it's uh, this, this map is a lot of fun. Uh, we ended up losing a guy. He left immediately before the, the map, or I don't know if he quit. I don't know how he did it, but he quit before the map actually loaded, so as soon as it loaded, it said that he had left. So if you came here to see that guy, you're out of luck. So we don't have the medic with us. We're just going to take this with five people. Nobody wants to be the medic. I don't, so I, I couldn't tell you if the medic had attacking spells or anything like that, uh, if it could attack at all, because of course on this map, Marauders and Firebats can actually attack the air, as can the Reapers, otherwise nobody would want to be them. Um, this map, like I said, is a lot of fun. It gets a lot of things right with RPGs and hero maps that a lot of other games and maps simply don't get. Number one, it's incredibly user-friendly. Um, you don't... Having it limited to just these five, or in some cases three abilities, really lets you focus on what each one of those abilities is designed for. So it's really easy to pick up and play. Um, for instance, I, I now have learned the Mind Blast ability, and that's my first AoE um, damage spell. That's Area of Effect, uh, for those of you that aren't used to MMORPGs like World of Warcraft. And basically what that attack does is it's going to do 50 damage while stunning everybody within that certain range. A very useful attack, um, as opposed to the Sniper attack where it's going to do increased amount of damage to a single target so learning the spells is very important in this game as it is in any hero slash rpg map um i must say that i do play with a couple not so smart people on in this game um but then uh one guy in particular i want to single him out Seabrez. that guy was awesome he was the only one to stick with me throughout this entire game um and then that brings me to another point since every people uh, all those people left this guy's about to curse right here. I remember this. So if you don't want to look, don't look now because he's going to cuss. There we go. Um, not a very good cusser, I must admit. Um, but yes, Cebra is the only one to stick with me the entire game. But as a, as a result of some great abilities that were programmed into the map by the map editor, Nashadun looked it up again we were able to control the other players units that is something that almost no rpgs can do i don't understand that if somebody leaves you know we should be still be able to control their characters just because they don't know what they're doing doesn't mean we should have to suffer and you know if they rage quit on us that shouldn't be our fault we shouldn't have to suffer for that and this map editor was able to do that i don't know if he did that on purpose but it definitely helped out, so kudos for having done that, whether or not on purpose. Um, one thing, though, that I would like is some kind of more level ups, because as you can see, I'm already on level 6, and we're just going up the first stretch here. I believe the, the map, you know, is huge. It did take two hours, and we're only, what, eight minutes into the game? And I'm over halfway through. If this was a Final Fantasy game, I'd be level 50 by now. Um, 
so I would love more levels. It only goes up to 10, uh, which is enough to beat the game. You know, I, I, we did beat the game at the end, defeat the big boss. I ended up getting the, the finishing blow, so I say I won the map. But, of course, I could not have done that without Seabrez there at the end. Uh, he was actually controlling three characters. All of uh, He was controlling the Firebat, the Marauder, and the Marine. I was controlling the Reaper and the Ghost. Um, uh, it does let you respawn after 30 seconds, which is always nice. A lot of maps will just say, oh, you died? Sorry, you can't come back. And there the Reaper leaves immediately. And yes, Tin Ribs is, passed. It is pissed. But he's kind of been pissed since the map started. Uh, so yes, uh, Cortex. No, sorry, Cortex was a different map. I don't know what I'm talking about. Fringe. Fringe by Nasodon. Check this map out. If you have the time, it is quite a long game. Uh, like I said, it took us two hours. If you had a full team of six, it would probably take a lot less than that. Of course, we kept on having to stall because we needed to heal. If you had the six player with the medic, you would not need to do that. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are lurkers on this map. I, you know, I'm not trying to, to spoil the map or anything, but beware of lurkers. Um, if it wasn't for my psionic storm ability, we would not have been able to take that out as well as the psionic blast, I would not have been able to take out the huge targets. I got so many kills just using the one psionic blast, uh, just kind of waiting for everybody um, to, to do a little bit of damage while I uh, just racked up the mana or the energy, whatever you want to call it. And then as soon as a big enemy showed up, I used it and I got a big kill, lots of experience. I got to level 10, probably, um, probably about a third of the way through the map, um, and yes, it does keep track of your kills, but only up to a thousand. I found that out. StarCraft 2 can only track a thousand kills per, in a, per, per game, so I probably got about 1,500 kills on this map, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Look it up if you haven't, uh, already played it. Uh, once again, StarCraft 2, fun or not, oh, I died! Hope you guys have enjoyed this little review here. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.